Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rashika, also known as Shika's Closet on Instagram. Today we'll be doing another vlog. You guys like seeing what I do on a daily basis. Um, today I'll be interviewed by Good Hope FM and they'll be coming to my place to do the interview. I made a few stories this morning saying that um, I'm quite nervous when it comes to interviews. I don't usually do interviews. Um, just because I think in Afrikaans and then you have to translate in English and when you put on the spot or under pressure, then they rack your angles up. So, um, wish me luck for that. After the interview, I will be having an hour or two free and then tonight, like I told you guys, it's supper um, in town because Queen of Josie is here and um, this is the only time we get to see her because all of us are so busy. So enjoy the vlog. I will show you guys a snippet of the interview. Don't laugh at me. And then just a short snippet of our evening. I'm loving my outfit, but it's gonna be dark when we go out. So there's no one to take a photo for me. Hopefully you guys get to see the outfit and um, probably uploading this vlog tomorrow only because I'm gonna get home late and tomorrow morning I have to get up early for a campaign in Somerset West. I have to be there like eight o'clock so yeah I feel like we don't know for it. Hmm. Oh it's cold in Cape Town so I'm wearing a pajama top and uh, my pajamas under the hoodie. <laughs> Lol. Oh okay cool This is cute. Am I nice. Thank you. Okay. What is good? It's Carissa Cupido here from Culture Beat on Good Up FM. And today I've been welcomed into the beautiful home of Sheikah's Closet. That's right, I get an inside look into all it takes to become an influencer in South Africa. But because I'm super generous, I thought I'd also give you the inside scoop of what it takes to be like Shika. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about her business and also her creative entrepreneurial journey. And of course, everything will be right here on a silver platter for you to enjoy. Welcome, Shika. Thank you for having me. Welcome, Good Up FM. I am honored. Oh, man. Thank you for having us in your home and especially in your studio space, That's right? Yeah, my special space. I love it. And I feel like it's special. I feel like this is a moment that I'm having right now. So I'm trying to savor every single second of it. <laughs> So Shika, of course, we know you, or I know you as Shika's Closet on Instagram, mm -hmm. but before that, you had a life, right? Yeah. You, you weren't born in I still have a life. <laughs> you still have a life too. Well, social thing. media, but okay, before I became Shika's Closet. Yes, okay. you are Rashika. Yeah. And Karim is yes. your surname. Yeah. You're a full human being. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of what we get seen <laughs> on social media. Yeah. So do you want to take me back a little bit and let me know what your upbringing was like and what Shika's life was like growing yeah. up? Yeah. Um, I was a, a normal girl, small town girl, um, loved school, loved academics, loved studying, loved sport, loved, loved everything about school, um, you know, I was always the self-motivated person, so I was your A student, yeah. and um, yeah, um, raised in a small town. Which small town? Uh, Worcester. Okay. Sorry guys. Yeah. I, you let that out. I'm no, like, no, I'm, so I'm thinking about Bentley here. No. Like, how far are we going here? Yeah, no, because I'm so used to people knowing this. Yeah. So I forget I'm talking to new people sometimes. Yeah. So I'm from a small town called Worcester. It's like one hour's drive from here. And then when I was 18, I moved to Cape Town. Mm. Because I um, stayed on the res at UWC. I came to study. Yeah. That was like now 10 years ago. And yeah. um, Because you know, sister studied there and now you must, you know. Of course, follow the Yeah. Follow. Mm. <laughs> so I moved here about 10 years ago. I stayed on my own since then. And... Um, yeah, and then I started for six years, my social media basically... Wait, what did you study for six years? Oh, I studied, um, shame, some of them have to listen to this again, sorry guys. It's okay! <laughs> Give us the scoop, tell us all, oh, six years, yeah. that's like a doctor's degree. Yeah, no, I studied, um, so I did BCom Law for three years, yeah. then I was done, and then I did my two years to complete my law degree, mm -hmm. and then my sixth year I did honors in industrial psychology, Good. and my, basically my social media started my fifth, my sixth year, basically, no, sixth year. Good. Um, that's when I started, you know, worrying about photos and phones and stuff. Yeah. Before that, it was... Um, it wasn't a thing. It wasn't a, a big 
everything. Yeah. yeah. So and that's what I find really interesting because I feel like when it comes to offerings of jobs in South Africa, yeah. you know, like you, you, you get your industrial psychologist, yeah. you get your lawyer, you get your doctor, but being an influencer or a social media content creator wasn't really a thing. No, it wasn't at all. Um, I didn't even know it existed. Yeah. Until I started creating content and funny content and I told stories about, you know, what's happening in the office and then months later, uh, people started labeling me as an influencer mm. and i'm like what and that's definitely well just before the influencer phase i think i jumped on because i remember these stories that you used to yeah. tell and i was like wow this is so interesting and you had that pursuit i think of going i want to leave this nine to five life yes. but i also need to be stable oh, yes. and so i'm juggling the two at the same time that was the plan that was the plan and it, it, it didn't happen it that's what's out. so great it worked, it worked out for you so i want to know shika why content creation? Why did you feel the need to, to create videos to put them online? Because it's one thing to have moments and share them with your family. You're a funny girl, we know that. But then to record it, edit it and put it out there for yeah. an audience, why that decision? I think, um, I think once I've realized that people find me funny mm. and um, people can relate, I started having a passion for it. I had a passion for making people laugh making people's day better um, and, and that's exactly what the videos did and what i strive to always bring content and make you feel better about yourself you know not the perfect sexy whatever girl but just to say that we're normal yeah. making mistakes is normal being broke is normal having fights is normal so yeah I, that's how it started that's how the love for for, for content started yeah and you know when you start something that you love it mm. basically it gets like an addiction mm. you want to do it more, more and you want to grow more. bigger and, yeah. yeah i love that so yeah. so many young people who say after school now mm. we just want to become influencer mm. guys a lot of us have Degrees, you don't need a degree, but you need a you need a backup plan B. A plan B. Um, we can't just be saying that um, we're gonna sit at home now and then we're just gonna try and you know become an influencer. No, find something else and then do influencing on the side from it. Mm. So they want in an engaged audience to be watching your yes, videos. Yes, they need to watch the full video. Yeah. Also, YouTube is another journey that also takes years. So I do want to tell you, if you want to start with YouTube, with Instagram, start now. Because if I started 10 years ago, mm. you would have came to my mansion today. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? <laughs> to me, this is a mansion. I'm living my life. I'm living my best life over here. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm full of wisdom today. I love it. Yes. And we're imparting it to all of you to enjoy. I hope you got your pen and paper because that yeah. was beautiful, Shika. I also have recently really taken content creation more seriously. So I'm definitely taking notes and I'm definitely paying attention. I'm better helping so much. At least me. I don't know about all of you, but I'm about to earn some money. That's all I'm saying. Shika, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Thank you for opening up your space for us. And I really enjoyed getting to know you a bit better and also getting to know your journey as a content creator. Oh, it was such a pleasure. My head is spinning now, guys, because I had to, I think in Africa, I had to translate now for our <laughs> to English. Thank you, Shika. Pleasure. <laughs> Why did I want to bow now? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye. Wow, Abby, okay. your makeup is popping. Your makeup oh, is popping. In the sky, just no. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love you here. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Oh, I can only see it now. Oh, 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 oh. But I'm gonna always smell so expensive, my bro. Oh, oh, Chanel, I can't even smell so. myself. Chanel, wave. Hello. <laughs> just say something for the vlog to make hey, it guys. at least kind of interesting. Hi, guys. Mm. I have to check in. <laughs> So, so these two are in love. Yeah. And, and, on YouTube. and we are married. We're married. Are you also in love? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's like disclaimer. Disclaimer. Just in case the husband loves us. Just in case. <laughs> okay, what will Shika be having? A exotic perfume. This is a job. This is a job, okay? This is a job. Is this Shika? Yeah, spray it Spray it It's perfume. 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 It's perfume.
Sila tas rera kasi na tayo sa this perfume. Oo, the perfume. Nee, rera. How much ito for us for a hot fat rera? Okay, what is she having, guys? Oh, Annie. Oh, no. Guys, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I don't have no idea what's happening here, guys. I'm just looking to show you guys. Hello, Sabis. This is me. Bradman is laughing, guys. Can you tell her this is a job? This is a job. I'll show you guys our food when it comes, and then I'll end the shisha, and then I'll be ending off the vlog. It's like a quiet. I like it like this. This is too much. Oh, she now got yellow and snap me, bro. Because guys, Abby is very difficult to please. So now let's play something. Bah, bah, bah. Nice, nice. Yes. Guys, this is the life, eh? This is this is the life. So me and Bron be sharing this. We don't know what it's called, but it's a platter. Ooh, Chanel, this looks nice. Thanks. What is this thing called? Is she married? Um, yeah, this is the situation. I just want Brad. Show me. Guys. Oh, okay. Before we end, off, before we end, off, I just want Brad to tell the people why she is in Cape Town. Why in Cape Town? Say mala man ko si niya. Ay. Kami po man. Now she's making time for us. Go for that. Wanna leave me, guys? We're talking nonsense. Um, but yeah, I'm not leaving. Oh, 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 oh. Go. I'm gonna um say bye now. Bye. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Wait, you must also say bye. So every day is different for a content creator slash influencer, whatever you want to call yourself. Um, I like the fact that every day is different. And um, yeah, today was challenging, but you grow. When things are challenging, you, um, you usually grow. Um, they say you don't grow in your comfort zone and that's the truth. Um, it was nice seeing my friends. I love the restaurant. I like Turkish. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I love it. And um, oh, that was my day. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Our next goal is 50,000 subscribers, inshallah. I mean, um, yeah. Until next time.